So we want to think a little bit about the difference between planned investment and actual investment. Planned investment is part of aggregate expenditures and actual investment is part of GDP. So if we can figure out what the difference is, we can figure out why and when aggregate expenditures will not be equal to GDP. Inventories are goods that have been produced but not sold. And we've mentioned in previous chapters that inventories are included as part of investment spending. A business may plan to produce a certain amount of a good, and so they'll plan on having a certain amount of that good in inventory at any given time. But if they don't sell as much as they had planned on, their inventories start to go up. Their warehouses start to fill up. This is an unplanned increase in inventories. On the other hand, if they sell more than they had anticipated, then their warehouses start to empty out and their inventories will fall. So this is an unplanned decrease in inventories. So actual investment spending, then that's what's counted in GDP, is greater than planned investment, that's what's counted in aggregate expenditures, when there's an unplanned increase in inventories. And actual investment spending is less than planned investment spending when there's an unplanned decrease in inventories. That's a lot of words, so let's, let's think about it. Let's look at a table and think about it a little bit. All right. So for the economy as a whole, we said that equilibrium occurs when aggregate expenditures are equal to GDP. So when this happens, inventories are unchanged. Okay, that's the first row here in our table. The second row says that we've got aggregate expenditure that's less than GDP. So when aggregate expenditure is less than GDP, um, that means planned inventories are less than actual inventories, right? Um, inventories rise because actual inventories are, are greater than planned inventories. Um, when that happens, GDP increases and employment decreases. What, what's going on here? Why do we have, um, excuse me, GDP decreases and employment decreases? What's going on here? Well, when inventories start to rise, that's a signal to businesses. Businesses are constantly watching their inventory levels, and when they start to see their inventory levels creep up, they're going to cut back on production. That's a signal to them that spending has slowed down, and they've only got so much warehouse space. They don't want to outgrow their warehouse and have to spend even more money to lease some more space. So when inventory start to go up, businesses cut back. When businesses cut back on their spending, um, that starts to drag down GDP. And when they cut back on production, they need fewer people. So they start laying people off. So we tend to see employment going down. All right, so that's the second row. Now look at this third row. If aggregate expenditure is greater than GDP, that means that actual inventory, excuse me, planned inventories are greater than actual inventories. So inventories, actual inventories have fallen, right? Um, when that happens, again, that sends a signal to businesses. They see their warehouses start to empty out. That tells them that spending has increased. They ramp up their production. That increases GDP. When they ramp up their production, they need more people, so they start hiring again, and that, that increases um, employment. So there's your relationship um, between aggregate expenditures and GDP. And again, remember, it comes down to what's happening with inventory. So if you can understand that relationship, understand that aggregate expenditure is planned inventories, GDP is actual inventories, you can kind of talk yourself through it and figure out what's going on. So it's good to get to a real good, solid understanding of this relationship.